A few months ago, we received the visit of uh, several students in our newspaper office in uh, Georgetown. That is the capital of Sussex, by the way, two counties down from the canal. And where we have a map of the United States and the world, and uh, I asked them to point where Spain was, the country that I'm originally from. Hands raised. One of them, a guy from Guatemala, Georgetown is full of uh, uh, people from Guatemala, pointed to uh, South America, close to, uh, close to Argentina. A native from the US pointed in the map to a place somewhere in uh, Central America. And a third one said nothing, no dijo nada. My name is Jose Manuel Somalo Sanchez. Um, in Spain, we do honor uh, our mother's last name, and the women do not drop their last names when they get married and, uh, in, in, uh, in honor of, uh, of our last names. And that is a standard procedure, a standard uh, practice in both Latin America and, and Spain. We are fairly new in Delaware. We have arrived in large numbers in the last 10, 20 years. As a matter of fact, many of us are first generation, here uh, that is our accent, uh, that arrived to the first state. Uh, some people from Puerto Rico arrive in the last 30 to 50 years and establish themselves in this county, many of them via New York. The majority of us in, uh, in Delaware come from uh, uh, Mexico, the majority of us, quite a few from Puerto Rico, and uh, many of them from, uh, or many of us from Guatemala, and there is a little representation of the other countries. But we are not new in the sense to this area. As a matter of fact, many Spaniards in the time uh, after Christopher Columbus arrived to the, to the Americas, wander into this area. There are two towns in Maryland within the Delmarva Peninsula called El Dorado and another one called Cordoba. So you can guess that those towns were probably have their origins around that time in history. So, the Spaniards have contributed to the United States from way, way then. If we are a, a personal friend of uh, George Washington, Spanish General Bernardo de Galvez was instrumental in the Battle of Pensacola and is considered, uh, is considered a hero. Uh, it was instrumental in debilita debilitating the English will to fight uh, with, a, with an army in Pensacola of about 7,000 black and white uh, soldiers being born in Spain, Mexico, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and some other places that, are, that were colonies of Spain in Venezuela. The reality is that uh, just five months after that battle of Pensacola, the war ended with the Battle of Yorktown. Many uh, United States history textbooks fail to recognize the contributions of people like Bernardo de Galvez and other people from Hispanic America and Spain. Bernardo de Galvez was recognized as U.S. honorary citizen in 2014 for his contributions to the independence of the United States. He is the only Hispanic to be on that list of just seven people, which includes Winston Churchill and Mother Teresa. Do we talk the same language? Well, if we are talking about, um, uh, let's, let's talk about a little bit of food. If we ask a Mexican national about a torta, he or she may bring you a delicious avocado sandwich, but if you ask someone from Spain, like myself, to give you a torta, he may slap or she may slap your face. So there are quite a few differences. <laughs> the um, people from Peru, Peruvian people, 
um, they claim that the uh, recipes for some of their famous dishes, like ceviche or pisco beverage, they are the originators of those recipes. But if you ask a guy or a person from Chile, they may claim the same thing. So they are two countries that are bordering, and that is an example of how they keep fighting for some recipes. And the same thing with, uh, with uh, ceviche. Uh, there is a, a constant fight between the people from Ecuador, the country that is north of Peru, and the Peruvian people. And the same thing with several other countries that are claimed ceviche to be their original invention. The reality is that uh, all of them are superb. <laughs> the the um, recently, um, uh, uh, the reality is that uh, uh, Americans do not understand Latinos, Latinos do not understand Spaniards, and in turn, Spaniards ourselves do not even understand each other. In Spain, we are right now fighting for the independence, or some people are fighting or want to become independent. Lately, some people from Puerto Rico would like to become part of Spain, and at the end, there are quite a few people that are think that the, the grass is greener on the other side of the, of the border. The, the, uh, uh, these, uh, these, uh, as I mentioned, we do not understand each other. And if we go recently to the Pope Francis, when he was here in the United States, he canonized the first US Hispanic person as a saint, San Junipero Serra. And still with that, there is a lot of controversy. Many think that uh, he was, that uh, the Pope uh, overlook the fact that there was quite a few um, cultural uh, genocide, while other people consider San Junipero Serra as the father of agriculture in, uh, in, uh, in uh, California. All of this, while a, a few vandals were uh, desecrating or they were uh, vandalizing the place, uh, the Carmel Mission in California, where San Junipero Serra is buried, toppling some statues and vandalizing some of the graveyard, some of the grave sites. Recently, also the 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 uh, the queen, the the king of Spain, Felipe, and uh, and the queen Leticia, arrived to the uh, to uh, to to the states for the celebration of the 450th anniversary of. Uh, San Augustine in Florida. That is to celebrate the, uh, the first European uh, established town in this country. Uh, that, that town was founded uh, in 1565 by, um, uh, uh, by a Spaniard. Nine years later of that 1565, the, a couple became the first marriage registered in the National Archives of this country. So the reality is that uh, United, uh, Spain has, uh, uh, the United States has benefited greatly from the adventures of Spanish people throughout this uh, northern, uh, the northern part of the, uh, of the continent. The, um, so overall, the, uh, uh, the, the message is that uh, you have to uh, recognize that uh, we are from many, many different countries and uh, that uh, we have very, very different backgrounds. And for us, that we arrive to this area, our task is to improve ourselves and to improve the communities which we have landed. And overall, we have to sit down at a table with friends and family and share uh, each other's experiences share each other's uh, traditions and share each other's and learn from each other's cultures. Forgot to mention also that there are quite a few uh, contributions from Hispanic people that uh, Spain play a, play a role for quite a few centuries with the uh, different routes that came, that uh, connected the, the continent of Asia and the continent of America. So that in turn brings us to uh, many of us Latinos or Hispanic people that we are black, we are white, 
and everything in between, like myself. So, thank you.